What's up, YouTube? It's been a while. I know. Uh, haven't done a video in a while. But uh, since it is Thanksgiving, I thought I'd, I'd share with you a, a bourbon whiskey that I had just uh, bought not too long ago. Uh, one of my store guys, one of my really good friends over there at, at, at one of the stores. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the store or else I would. But uh, gave me a sample of the six year of the 10 year. This is the, this is the 10 year here. The uh, six year is right here in this little bottle. And uh, from what I've seen from all the statistics, there ain't much difference as far as what's supposed to be in these bottles. Okay. And I thought since it is Thanksgiving, you know, that I'd go ahead and I'd do a something that kind of kind of a Thanksgiving type drink, you know, bib and turkey, you know. So I don't know if any uh, many of you have heard of bib and turkey, but what's that? It's, it's not bib and turkey. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it's not bib and turkey. It's actually bib and tucker. Um, okay, that's kind of embarrassing, even though I'm joking right now. Uh, bib and tucker. Uh, you got the ten year here. You got the six year here. You got it in the glasses. They're mixed up. I don't know which one is which, but I am gonna taste them. Give you give you kind of a review on them, not too too much in depth because I don't want to take too much of your time. It is the holiday today, and everybody's over here hustling, bustling, trying to get that uh, turkey out of the oven, or uh, maybe uh, doing something like uh, we're doing here, and you know just having somebody else make our food. So, um, but at the same time, uh, I wanted to do a little video bring a little comedy into it you know and and just talk about this bottle that I received I had told my guy over there at um, total uh, that um, I was gonna be doing this I think I told him I was gonna do it last week and um, here I am doing it a week later so hey it is what it is but uh, I appreciate you uh, going real quick off topic uh, as you can see tomorrow all you Raiders fans, hopefully it's a good game. That's all I got to say about that. Um, I'm not much of a, a, a trash talker. I know there's a lot of people who get too serious in that. I've been a Dallas Cowboy fan, a fan from when I was born. A um, bunch of family uh, from, you know, my original family's from Texas, got family there, and um, now uh, uh, my uncle actually what was a heart diehard uh, uh, Dallas Cowboy fan made me a fan myself so with that said now uh, I'm here dressed up in uh, my ready attire for the game tomorrow I'm um, I am thinking about doing a stream so uh, look out for that if I put put it in there I might do a live stream following the game of course I can't put it on the, the screens or anything like that because copyright issues but I will be following this stream maybe having a drink with you all if you guys uh, want to show up and, and, and check it out that's an option uh, one other thing um, I, uh, over the past few months over these streams that I've been doing I have gained uh, a, a, a few uh, subscribers and I, I wish I could go through every one of every name uh, but of course it doesn't show me every name I just know that that there's a there's a lot of you who decided to take this journey with me and I appreciate you I thank you um, from the bottom of my heart and um, I hope we can just continue this uh, this journey together um, thank you um, from the charity stream all the way to uh, these battles that I've been doing and <laughs> maybe not doing so well but you know it's all fun it's all in fun and that's what this channel is supposed to be about for me anyways um, I just wanted it to be fun somewhere uh, people can hang out and where we can just kind of talk whiskey and, and drink and and just commonality type stuff and, and and drink good whiskey together now back on topic would I say that this is good whiskey I'm not sure because I've never had Bib and Tucker I have never even tasted this I haven't tasted it. Uh, this is a fresh pop, uh, pop cork for me. 
this sample that I was given uh, from my guy at Total told me that it was pretty good. Um, now for those of you who maybe don't like Dickel, this is more likely Dickel, even though it, it is an undisclosed, um, uh, it is a dis undisclosed distillery where they're sourcing this from, from uh, Bim, and, Bim and Tucker. But um, uh, my guy seems to like it, and um, I've heard uh, uh, some good things about it. I, I don't know personally where it's sourced from. All I know is that I'm going to tell you what I think is is in this and, and how it tastes. Now, how 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 much do I think this is? Uh, I guess flavorful this is going to be. <sighs> Man. Um, well, it's at a low proof. It's it's at 92 proof. Each of these, um, Bourbon, uh, Bib and Tucker, not Turkey, Bib and Tucker, um, does have a 12 year expression that does have a 99 proof um, expression offering, uh, but this one does not. These two do not, and the only thing from what I understand separates them is just age four years so um, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and taste this now or go, go ahead and go on the nose on glass a and give you my thoughts and then pick one out of the two and who knows maybe I'll pick the six year over the ten year the ten year over the six year we'll see it's a little light on the nose um, uh, there is a meaty flavor to it um, might some people might call that sweet um, I kind of call it a meaty flavor. Um, it's just a sweet meat. It, it's kind of reminiscent of a, a, I hate to say, it, of a Dickel product. I, I, I'm not talking about minerality or anything like that. It's just, um, for me, Dickel has a certain smell to it. Uh, George Dickel has a certain smell to it. And uh, that's what I'm getting off the nose. But it, it is very sweet. Um, I don't get any of that minerality, like I'm just saying. But it, but it, it, I mean, all in all, it, it's it has a nice aroma to it. It's not very strong. It's not off-putting. There's no alcohol enhancements really burning my nostrils or anything like that. So, off the top, this is this is very nice. I mean, it's really nice. You can tell it's sweet. You can tell it's going to be easy to drink. Now I'm going to go into glass uh, B. Now, now this one has a little bit more, a little bit more of an oak tone to it, a little bit more of a, a, a dusty note to it. You still get that meat flavor, you still get that sweet flavor that coming through. Uh, but all in all, they're about the same. A um, little bit more dusty on this one, as far as oak flavors. Now, uh, they use a, I believe, a char one when aging these. They char, char the barrel at char one, and then they age it in that barrel. Uh, these are not, uh, I don't believe these are finished. Um, this one right here is a batch, batch, batch three. And, let's see here. And it is barrel six. 76 age 10 years unfortunately i don't have the statistics on this one so i couldn't tell you um other than i at least you know what batch it is and what what uh barrel it's come from so these are produced in mass and you will find these in 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 different stores um all over the place uh bib and tucker uh, uh, every time i've seen it I, i've just never really been excited to kind of grab you know go towards it and grab one and bring it home even though the the, the bottling is really nice I mean you got the the raised letters in the glass dark glass um, <clears throat> I don't know if they're taking a number from a smoke wagon or smoke wagons taking a number from them but uh, and then and then they got the little uh, toys on top uh, this is actually pretty cool because uh, it's not very heavy, but it, it, it just, it's just, it's 
I don't, you, you're gonna pull on this rather than an actual top. So you gotta hope that this, this doesn't break right here because then you will have to use a screwdriver to uh, pull it up. All right, so again, nose is pretty much similar, a little more dustier on this one. I'd have to assume that uh, maybe it's the more aged one. Uh, maybe I'm getting, that's why I'm getting more of the oak on this one. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and go on the flavor and tell for sure. Cheers. Just as I thought, just with those, the, the, the lightness of the nose, the proof, um, it's really easy to drink, yes. It does have a minerality to it. Um, it, it I won't say Flintstones vitamin, even though, because I, I grew up on Flintstones vitamin and I know what Flintstone vitamins taste like. This doesn't taste like it. It does taste like maybe uh, the, the, maybe the mineral water that they use for it is coming through. I guess when people think minerality, they think Flintstone vitamins. I, I personally don't. Go for it for a second drink, cheers. Wow, whichever one this is, it's just, it's just falling flat. Um, there ain't really much to it. Um, you, you do get that oak. You do get a sweet flavor to it. It is easy to drink, like I said, but there ain't much to it. There ain't, there ain't really nothing to it. So um, I don't know if I would recommend this one, whichever one this is. All I know is that it's really light, easy to drink, feel a little warmth now now the warmth is coming in as it's lingering and and, and then all, you, all you're left with is just um i hate to say it uh because i know i've said on on some other expressions but you, you just get like like you've just been chewing on a popsicle stick and that's all you got left there's nothing no extra flavors there no big boldness or anything like that at 92 proof you're really not going to expect that so I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink of some water so I can go in on glass B real quick. And I'll tell you, I don't even think I need to drink too much water to remove that flavor from my mouth because it's, it's just so light. I'm gonna go in on glass B, cheers. Wow. <laughs> you could tell there's a difference. There's just a heavier, I guess you would call it oak on this one. And it's almost easier to drink. So it's kind of telling me, to me, it would be the more aged one. Uh, this one drinks a little lighter, but a little younger. So I'm getting that those all those those oak tannins. Um, it's just it's not drying, but you could just it's almost like you have like a little bit of sawdust in your mouth. Again, this one has less minerality in it than this one does. I'm assuming because of the age. But I if I was to guess because of how this drinks, it actually drinks lighter than this. I would think the age maybe pulled some of that sting out of it which this was kind of on the on the end was causing a little bit of warmth uh this one nothing no warmth no anything no, um you're just left with that chewing that sawdust or popsicle stick so i'm gonna go in for another drink i really don't know why but i'm gonna try i'm gonna go in Okay, I, I, I took a little bit of a, of a bigger drink. 
now I'm getting a little bit more of a pepper uh, on top of that meaty sweetness. Uh, again, no minerality on this one. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's mostly on this one, which is still very light on minerality. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take another drink. So I'm just going to go ahead and A and B it real quick. And I'm going to, without having any water, and see which one kind of burns through, I guess, or I get more feeling from. But I'm going to have to say uh, this is, for me, I would have to say you should probably try this first because and it may be something for you because of the ease the smoothness of the drink you're it, it's not overwhelming it's just something you can probably sip on um, without any um, I guess overwhelming burn anywhere but cheers I'm gonna go ahead and, and be it real quick Yeah, this one does definitely does have a little bit of uh, a noticeable minerality. Not overwhelming, but it's there. There's still some sweetness. It is really easy to drink. But then again, you're just it's just kind of just um, underwhelming in flavor. There's there's really not too much to pick from it. Cheers. Going going in for the last drink right here. This is so tough. When you take the bigger drinks, you get a you get a bit more flavor, a bit more pepper, a bit more sweetness in this one. Uh, I think maybe the uh, the little minerality that 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 is in this one right here, maybe because of the age. And again, I'm just guessing. Um, I'm assuming that the oak, it hasn't overpowered it, uh, enough to, to, uh, make this a, um, make this the six year while this one's a 10. I'm almost positive this is going to be the 10 year. Cause there's, that minerality is almost gone. Uh, almost non-existent. I mean, if I really looked for it, I'd probably find it. Um, but this one right here really really shows shows that flavor coming through so um if i had to pick and it's mainly because of maybe that minerality that it ain't off putting I, I could drink it um it's not bad it's not terrible it's not it, it's not uh overwhelming but i'd probably go with this one uh just because it does have a little bit more of a added flavor in there that that heat that pepper even though at first i thought it was this one because when i took the drink on this one it just felt light felt easy to drink felt like there was nothing there but when i took a bigger drink on the second drink it actually came through a little bit more so you're gonna have to actually um get a pretty good sized drink to actually get some flavor out of this one but you can get that flavor and it won't be as mineral as this one or have that minerality as such as this one right here so um my winner is this one so the loser uh like i said is uh year six so year six uh we got the uh, 10 10 year um and uh, i'll tell you that um it may be something that you like uh, because of, like I said, how easy it is to drink. For me, um, I do like a little bit more flavor. I do like a little bit more oomph. I do like that Kentucky hug. This is Tennessee whiskey, so of course it's not going to have that. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate every one of you who has already done that. And thank you uh, for, for taking this journey with me. Um, I, I just can't thank you enough, um, how, how, how that makes me feel. Um, uh, you guys came, you guys came together and, and helped me raise, uh, money, uh, for, um, that, 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 uh, documentary that they are working on right now. 
they're posting pictures in Facebook. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, I am friends uh, with Anthony and uh, he, him as well as Manny and, and, and the crew are posting pictures all along the way with the families and it just, uh, man, I can't wait to see the finished product that uh, you helped. Um, if I didn't tell you before, um, I think I did. Um, you saw the check, the check was for $4,600. But we also paid for we also paid for the uh, birthday cake, the Marine Corps birthday cake that was um, um, that we had there. We also uh, Jason Busey took some extra bottles. I took an extra bottle, which came out to about thirteen ish hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more, uh, in, in added um, expenses for for the charity and which a grand total of just over six thousand dollars and that was all because of you guys really appreciate you love you all i can't thank you enough for all those who participated and um you know what i'll see you on the next one um, just glad to be a part of this community and um i thank you and uh have a great thanksgiving